Well, as sad as it is, I've been thinking a lot and I think this is it. I honestly don't want to let's play Marvel Heroes anymore. It's kind of boring. It actually just drained me. The last time I played as Wolverine and Deadpool, and you can probably tell in my Wolverine video, uh, I think it was called Wolverine's Wild Ride. Um, or, no, no, Wolverine's Off-Road Adventure, that one, episode like five, I think. Uh, you could probably tell I was already getting tired of it. Um, the game was just not very fun in, you know, long periods of time. And I don't want to let's play it anymore. I found that game that looks really cool, Unravel, where you play as that cute little yarn uh, creature. And I saw it on, on a website for about $10. That's pretty cheap, so I'm going to try to buy that and see if I can let's play that too. Um, but I want my next let's play to be The Legend of Korra, just because, you know, it's a game I already know how to play. Uh, and I think that'll just be more fun because of that, you know. And that's really it. Um, one thing I want to bring up though is again the alternate costumes, which I really wanted to get. That was a big aspect of Marvel Heroes for me, and I think in one of my earliest videos, like the first one, I said something like, I hope I can unlock these. Well, you can't, so you have to buy them. And that's ultimately what I hate about Marvel Heroes the most. Everything is about money. And I get it, you know, they're a business, you gotta make money somehow. But then, why make the game free to download if everything else costs money, you know? Um, just getting a alternate costume, I looked it up on the website, can be $17.99, depending on the character. And uh, some of them are a little bit cheaper, but that's already pretty expensive. That's around $20, that's pretty close. Um, so that's, you know, pretty expensive in my opinion. Uh, and then if you want to get an actual DLC pack, like the pack they made dedicated to the movies, like Captain America Civil War, um, Avengers Age of Ultron, all of those that are actual packs and not costumes can be, I think, 38 almost $48, including the Deadpool pack, which is dedicated to the Deadpool corpse. So, basically, this is just an extremely expensive game. It's all about money, basically. Uh... All the cool crap you get is just because of you spending so much money on it, and I really can't do that. Um, I use my money for more important things, such as taking care of my animals, and then I use the money that's left over, you know, for me, as well as um, personal matters besides um, my, my pets. So, this is going to be it. I don't want to play more Marvel Heroes anymore, and... There is one thing I want to bring up that is kind of funny though. When I was looking through the costumes for the characters, I found that the original 1960s Spider-Man is available to purchase. And I find that hilarious because 1960s Spider-Man has practically become an internet meme. He's just a joke on the internet and I freaking love it. And of course, all the 1960s Spider-Man memes going everywhere, but he just does really hilarious poses and weird animations like you just saw. So, if anything, that made me want to buy the 1960s Spider-Man suit and try to then insert the clips of 1960s Spider-Man YouTube poops into the uh, video. But Marvel Heroes it just isn't fun for me anymore. I don't want to let's play. Even some of my Esperholics were saying that, you know, it's getting repetitive, it's getting boring, so you're getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it. That's a sign that we should stop, you know? Because I don't want you to be bored. And because I'm already bored with it.
So I'm gonna stop playing it. Um, I'm not gonna upload any uh, Marvel Heroes video today. Um, I might upload another Gun Dirty Simulator video today, or I don't know, I might not. Um, I might just have the Fantastic Friday video for today, and that's it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that, and uh, next Monday will be The Legend of Korra. Um, as I, I've already mentioned, I actually already played this game. Um, I haven't touched it though in a few years. I last played it in 2014. So I will more than likely be a bit rusty, you know, until the uh, muscle memory comes back and I start to remember how to play the game. But there was one segment I absolutely suck ass at playing. So if anything, I might just then try to do those off screen. I don't know. They are the Naga segments where you get to play as Korra's dog. And you get to go through these cool obstacle course segments, but again, they're actually really tricky, especially towards the end of the game. So, um, I might let you guys watch me do it the first few times, and then that's it. I'll do it off screen, or I don't know, you know, we'll see. We'll see how the Let's Play goes. Uh, feel free to, you know, give me some feedback, tell me what you think I should do, you know, when we, you know, start playing it. And that will be that. Um, here's the thing, though. Uh, I started over the game again on hard mode. So I'm not sure if I should then let's play that or just try to make another file where I just play it on normal mode because again I haven't played this since 2014. So jumping into a game you haven't played in several years, well not several, but you know a few years and jumping back in on hard mode just seems like a really bad idea and that's just going to screw me over and make the game not really fun. So uh, I'm going to play it on normal mode and um all that good stuff. Hell, the boss on just normal mode, the final boss on normal mode, is just annoying as hell, so I don't even want to touch that on hard mode. Um, so yeah, The Legend of Korra will take Marvel Heroes' place uh, this coming, you know, Monday, because, you know, today's Friday, so, yeah. So, when Monday pops up, that's it, Korra's taking over, I don't want to play Marvel Heroes anymore. And I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, the Legend of Korra is not a very long game, so then, if anything, I might just then replace that with Unravel. Because I really want to play that game. I really want to buy it. It's really cheap. It's only like freaking $10, so I'm going to go for it. So, Legend of Korra is going to be a pretty short, you know, let's play. Um, I want to do some bonus content at the end, kind of like how I did that with uh, Sonic Adventure. Anyway, um, so I hope you look forward to that, and I will see you all later in my next video. And hope you all enjoy the Korra playthrough of Master for Helics. So this is uh, Master Gaming going away, and I will see you all later. Bye!